anyways I'm gonna be showing you how to make this can lantern uh, it's made out of three cans uh, you want some scissors lamp oil or olive oil this is a store-bought wick and you're gonna be needing a knife um, the reason why there's three cans I use three different bottoms um, so this isn't like an improv survival situation where you want to go find three cans but if you want to make this ahead of time and pack it and keep this lamp oil in a separate bottle or something like that I think it's a great idea uh, three can design is because I use three bottoms I tried it with just two bottoms put together just like a penny stove and the lamp oil started coming up on top burned into a big fire um, so I thought that was a bad idea I also did it with a baby jar so if you're thinking about doing it with a baby jar watch this video alright so we light this on fire the wick will pull that oil through the cap just give it a second okay so pulling the oil through the cap and now the problem is that oil that's pulled through the cap is now going to catch on fire and there we go and now the oil is trickling down the jar it's going to follow that jar it's going to be on the ground big fire not a good idea see baby jars bad idea um, let's get to building this one scissors oil lamp knife wick three cans so first thing we're going to do is make the bottom can and there's a trick to making them fit together I'm using a 7.5 size can because it's smaller more compact I'm going to score this can just by trying to hold this knife steady as possible and spin the can around we're not trying to cut through we're not actually even trying to go very far we are however trying to make it level Now, we're going to take that score and we're going to cut a fourth inch up over it. Roughly a fourth, fourth inch, maybe just a little bit more. Alright, we got our bottom. Second can is not going to be as tall. The reason why you want the bottom to be tall is because that's where the oil is going to be sitting this isn't going to be a spill proof can you want to keep it up vertical the second one is going to be smaller if you're good at eyeballing it just use the scissors and cut that out third can roughly the same size as the first uh, the roughly the same size as the second can base can middle can top can uh, the reason for this design is because if you actually looked at a lantern an old style lantern there's two levels it feeds through the first bottom portion and then there's this section with uh, vents in it and then the top section and in the middle of that middle section is the screw well, this one's not going to have a screw but it is going to have the separated area alright so this first can top we're going to do we're going to go ahead and puncture it roughly
roughly the size that you think that the uh, wick is going to fit through. Okay. Now we're going to go a different way. We're going to go ahead and tee this off. This helps any excess oil that does spill into this portion be able to drop back down into the can. This one's going to sit like so. And you actually only probably need half of this wick. The last can, we're going to flip around and push with our thumbs in the middle. I'm trying to achieve more of a football pattern than a circle pattern. So I pushed in the middle, then I pushed further up, then I pushed further down. Now, I'm going to cut this way. Again, roughly the same size as the wick. Okay, now we have it turned back around this way. Let's get this little weird portion out so it can be a little bit more level. There we go. And now along what I call the football pattern, I'm gonna make some vents. This serves two reasons. One is to help get air underward under the flame. And the second reason is to act as another area for excess oil to return back to the bottom. Are you going to take this middle one and take the wick and feed it through the top one? All right, we're gonna, and then we're gonna just push down gently to where the top one engulfs the bottom one. All right, now we have that middle section really similar to an actual oil lamp. Now we're talking, uh, now we're taking this one that we scored along the edges, and if you have a pair of pliers, it helps, the scored area helps this um, crimped area, helps it to not go past that scored spot. You just want to kind of crimp all the way around. Now I'm just going to make sure there's no more coke in it. Dry it out really nice. I'm going to add the uh, lamp oil, Just pour it in there, and I'm just going to, I'm probably going to cut this one in half. Put that on there and work this soda can over the top of the other one. And the last thing we're going to need is the lighter. Voila! It's like magic! So now that we got it burning, let's see how well it works. I'm going to turn all my lights off out here in my garage and, and see how it works. So, you know, the, the room is not fully lit. Let me, let me blow these other two out. 
So the room's not fully lit, but it's pretty nice. And you can actually get well, you a tall one, you know, a beer can, cut an eye in it, an eye shape, capital I, open up the flaps, and now you have a directional lantern. That works pretty good. I can see all through the garage. So like I said, I burned this for about five hours yesterday with no problems. Feel pretty safe about this design. I'm gonna definitely be using it. But anytime you're playing with fire, you're playing with fire. So this is a demonstrational only video. I'm not saying you should or shouldn't make this. I thought I'd just share my design with you. Um, be safe if you do decide to play with fire. And thanks for watching, Go Geronimo. Click like, subscribe, share my videos with others, add me to your favorites, find me on GoGeronimo.com where you can see a lot of my videos and if you want to mosey on down to my YouTube channel, there's a link to it on the top right of GoGeronimo.com. Thanks for watching.